Hello guys, welcome to another exciting episode of our designing series in Coral Draw. In this series, I'm going to show you how to design this church flyer in Coral Draw with simple steps which I will be guiding you along with. It. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so like always, I'll head on to my Coral Draw software and I'm just going to open it. And um, the first thing I'll do is, of course, I'll head on to um, the file and I click on new. I click on new, I'm just going to set uh, the name to church fire. Then my primary color mode stays at ROGB and um, the size stays at 5x5 five five and um, it stays in inches. The resolution stays at 300. Right? After I've done all of this, of course, you don't need to change any of the values here. Just press OK. Right? So we're in like this. So the first thing we need to do is double click on the rectangle to create a replica rectangle inside of the page like we've always done in previous videos. Right? F4 to um, full screen. So you won't have it like this. So F4. Now the first thing I would like to do is to create our base background for this particular flyer. Right? So how do I do that? I'll simply head on to the color. I'll double click here and uh, I will click on this first one uniform field and I'm just going to change the values here so the value I have for this is 05 2419 2419 like this and when I'm done I click OK so this is our base background for this design right so um, in case I forgot, some persons have asked me for the Corridor software, please in the description below for this video, there's a link attached to it so you can get that software from the community along with the resource files that I use for this video. Now let's go ahead and bring in our first element for this design. So to do that, what I'll just do is I'll go to my folder where I have them and uh, the first one I'll be working with here is this image right here. So what I'll just do is I'll just drag and I'll drop inside of the coral draw like this, right? So what I need to do is I need to create, create a blend between this image and our existing background we have here. So how do we do that? You guessed right. So I'll go over to my transparency tool and I'll simply click on it and I'll hold shift and I'll just drag to this point, right? Just like this. I'll create a blend just like this. And um, doing so, uh, it, it, it makes, um, it creates a balance so that our other elements will be able to blend well and sit on the design. So I haven't done this. What I'll simply do is I'll just, I can take this outside, right? And right click on it and click on power clip inside and when this arrow comes up just place it inside of this rectangle like this right well we have any problem it's not sitting well so double click on the rectangle and simply drag it into position just like this right so when you have it this way you can choose to want to make it smaller and um, just the way it is like this and when you feel it's in a position that you want it to be just come here and click what finish so as you can see we have our second element sitting inside comfortably so the next thing we need to do now is to bring in our next element so i'll go back to my file and bring in the second element a picture of um, a crowd with uh, their hands raised and all of that so what i want to do again is the same thing that i did for with this background that i have here first thing i need to do is blend this image so what i'll do is go to transparency to again hold down my shift key and blend exactly like this exactly the way i have done it so having done this what i will do is i'll go to the edge hold down shift and reduce the picture just like this so it fits into the frame of the background right just like this so i haven't done this the next thing i need to do is i'll head over to bitmap map convert to bitmap and 
resolution is at 300 and color mode is at RGB. Everything stays the same. I click OK. The next thing I need to do is I would also apply the blend effect to this region to this downside. So I go over to transparency and repeat the same process just like this so that I have an equal blend up and down. Right? So having done this too, I'll just go to bitmap, convert to bitmap and do the same thing again. Click OK. So when I'm done with all of this, I'll just go over to transparency and this time what I'll do is I'll change blend mode from normal to what overlay just so it creates an effect like this right so what i'll simply do with this one too is i'll set it aside right right click on it and click on power click inside when this arrow pops out just click on the rectangle like this and boom it takes it inside so double click on the rectangle to assess it and move it to the position you want it to be when you've placed it at that position come back and click finish just like this right so i'll set things to full screen and so we'll see what you're doing here right so the next thing i want to do is bringing in the next element which is the the, the bible that i used so we'll go over to where you have elements and click on this bible this one here and simply drag and drop for those of you that cannot use the drag and drop option please kindly use the file and import option the shortcut is going to add so i'll zoom out and uh, so that i would see this perfectly right so this is what i have so what i'll just do with this one i don't need to do too much on it just release reduce the size like this that's a release reduce the size like this right and put it this way just like this so it fits in according to the direction of the existing lights we have inside of this design right so i'm going to place it this way just like this make it a little bit bigger like this and like this i am done right so the next thing i want to do is actually create a light effect that shows that the light is coming from the top and all of this reflecting inside of the Bible. So how do I do that? What I will simply do is go to my rectangle too and let me just zoom through so we see this clearly. I will draw a rectangle here like this. I'm going to draw one like this and uh, I'm just going to use my eyedropper too. Eyedropper too is just basically a tool that you can use to sample colors from one part and apply it to another element or to another part in your design so what i'll simply do is click on it and uh, i'll come over to where i have this light here i'm going to focus on this color here so i'm selecting it and i'm going to apply the color here right so i'll of, of course i'll remove the outline because this shape has an outline right and we don't want to work with outlines all right so i'll go over here and uh, I click on this to get rid of the outlines so what i will simply do is make a duplicate copy of this or make duplicate copies of this so ctrl c and ctrl v made one duplicate and the next one i'm just going to do the same thing to ctrl c and ctrl v to get that out of the way so i'm just going to uh, select the three of them and i'm just going to bitmap convert to bitmap and convert all of them to bitmap resolution and the color mode stays the same 300 rgb i'm going to click ok right so this is bitmap now so i can do what i want to do with this um, shapes i created so the first thing i want to do is i'm going to create a blend so i'm going to go to my transparency tool with it still selected you can see still selected right make sure it's still selected go to your transparency tool and hold down shift and drag down just like this right so it creates a light from um a visible point to the less visible point right just like this i'm just going to drag it far down like this so it gets to this point now this is the best part of it having done that go to effect and click on blow and select gaussian blow right so when you select that this is what happens so i'm just going to blow out the edges this way just like this so i create this effect i don't want to see the um, target edges of those shapes so 
yes exactly at this point by at 31.3 pixels i'm just going to click ok the last thing i'm going to do with this is i'm just going to head on to transparency and i'm going to change the blend mode to screen guys screen anything about lights anything that has to do with lighting and anything bright that you want to apply be it light from anywhere any color make sure you work with either screen or if you're working in photoshop you are working with vivid lights and any of the lighting um, um, adjustment layer that you find there that is what you should use right so let's continue and uh, what i want to do with this is i'll select this which is this light that i created and select the pie two of them like this and i'm going to press ctrl x to cut it and double click on this rectangle that is what i have put inside previously and press ctrl v to paste all of them inside the reason why i did this is so i don't have a conflict of having to move things about you can see everything is all in one rectangle right that's the best part of this whole composition right this whole design um, um, stage like this so the next thing i'll be doing here is bringing in my text that i use for this design uh, process so i'll just go over to my text tool and uh, i'm going to start with that so the first thing i'll be typing here is prayer and fiesta all right i'm just going to change the color so it stays visible right and the font that i use for this is stretch pro right so i'm just going to look for my fonts and voila this is it now the tricky thing about stretch pro is let me emphasize this point now this is the prayer i type the prayer right so i'm just go over to type the fiesta now if you type it like this you're not going to see that effect that i use the only way you can see that effect is when you add another s to this so if for instance you want to add you want to make the arrow that way what you need to do is come to the prayer part right and just adding the arrow here but if it's the a that you want to create like that just add an extra a to it so if you add an extra um, letter to an existing letter to create that effect for it so for this one what i will just do is i will make it visible here like just like this right and when i'm done i'm just going to uh, use my shape to to bring this together I'll, of course i'll go to objects uh break free fiesta apart and i'm just going to make this one smaller like this so it doesn't exceed this point somewhat like this right so this is the first thing we need to do so i'm just going to move it in place and put it at this point here okay guys so having done this what i'll do is i'll make this a little bit bigger right i'll just make this a little bit bigger and uh, move it close not too close to what we have here and i'll simply go ahead to um, add my other text effect but before i do that i would like to move this a little bit upward like this so i have enough space for my text and everything to stay right so i'll just move select the two of them and move it up like this and i'm just going to add the other text to what i have here so i'm just going to speed it up and i will be with you in a gp So with that done, we are almost at the end of 
this design process. So the last thing I will want to do is I'm just going to add a few of the things that I missed. I'm just going to add the presents here. So this is going to be present and I'm going to use my shape to, to shape it out like this. So I create this effect and I'm just going to change the size from 8 and I'm going to use 6. Right, so I'm just going to move it to the center of this part like this. And the next thing I want to do is to bring in the logo that I use for this. Before I forget, if you've gained value so far in this video, please kindly hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and please don't forget to turn on the post notification. So anytime I post a video, you'll be the first person to get it. Having said that, let's go ahead and bring the logo that I use. So I'll just click on this and of course this is a, it is the last element inside here. So I'm just going to drag and I'm just going to drop inside just like this. And I'm just going to move it in place here like this, right? So it is Grace Life Church, right? Now, um, Grace Life Church just like this. I'll just make a duplicate copy of it, Ctrl C and Ctrl V and um, so that it pops out or it pops up well, whichever one pops up, pops out, pops up well inside of the design. Now I haven't done all of this, um, I believe there is nothing else to be added to this composition, right? Good. Now if you have any questions you want to ask. Please kindly drop them in the comment section and if you have any video you want me to make for any design you want to see, please kindly also drop it in the comment section. Don't forget to download the resources and the community, that's the Telegram community. So guys, this brings us to the end of this tutorial session. I'll see you in the next video.